All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back, or welcome to the channel, depending if you are subscribed or not. Commenting, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff helps with the channel. Check out the links in the description below if you would like. We got a set of uh, Bassett little dresser here and a chest of drawers. I'm going to be going over what I'm doing and, uh, you know, the normal stuff. So uh, let's enjoy this process. Alrighty, so let's get started with pulling off the hardware. Um, I usually use two drills for this. I have a Dewalt with a flathead, and then I have a, another one with a Phillips on it. Sometimes it's kind of finicky, and I usually uh, usually using the Dewalt here with a flathead. Um, I've been using that more often than not. But uh, yeah, let's check this out. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna be taping off the drawers here. Um, in a future video, you will see me attempt to take the drawers out and paint them separately. Um, I just don't have the setup for that at the house. It took probably an hour just to get it set up and I didn't really make any progress. I, I know some people do that, but this is the fastest way for me. Even though I have to um, take some of the spray off at the end of the day with the sanding block, it's really no problem. So I did reuse the hardware on here. Um, I did do the method that was either in my last video or one of my other videos. I'm just using Barkeeper's Friend after I boiled these in water. And these came out a lot better because I made sure I cleaned them and I dried them with clean water after I cleaned them with the Barkeeper's Friend. And um, yeah, just dried them off thoroughly. I also did uh, use a polisher, which you'll see in a little bit. I have a Dremel and uh, I was able to find a tip for that to polish the metal so I just gave that a try. Alrighty, so as you can see, they're pretty shiny. I like how they came out. Um, they were really gross earlier. And uh, yeah, this is where I just kind of take my Dremel. I got a metal tip over there and just do some polishing. I went ahead and did some polishing on all of these. This day when I painted, uh, it was pretty cold. I think it took like six hours just for the first coat to dry. So this was in between that actually. Alrighty, so let's get this sanded down with 150 grit sandpaper.
All right, time for some primer. As always, I'm using the Zinzer primer here. And uh, I recently did upgrade my paint gun, which I'll be using in a future video. But until then, I'm using this off-brand one still. So I'll be using the bare Timeless Blue paint. Uh, this is the chalk paint. I had a lot of trouble actually with this piece with shrieking. Um, just going over and over again with the, the brush was kind of annoying at the end. I ended up respraying a lot of it and evening everything out, but I did have a lot of trouble on this piece. So yeah, let's check this out. So here comes the uh, terrible choice to brush this. Uh, I don't know if it was just the blue paint or what, but every single time I tried to touch up something, it would basically just create another color because of the thickness, and um, I would have to fix something. So yeah, I spent a lot of time on this, and uh, yeah, as I said in other videos, I'm really trying to get away from brushing. It just takes way too long. I just really need to perfect my technique on the sprayer so I can get things in and out quicker. All right, so let's start putting this hardware on. Again, um, I really like the blue and gold. I like the original, and uh, yeah, I liked how it turned out with the cleaning and polishing.
All right, so let's get this top coat on. I recently did switch from just doing the top coat over everything to putting lacquer on the hardware after I paint them or not paint them. But for this instance, I just kept on using the top coat on everything. And my spray gun was having issues like it's been usually. Again, I, I switched to Wagner. Um, it's coming up in the next few videos. But yeah, I just had to do some touch ups here with the foam brush. And again, everything about this piece just kind of took way longer than expected. Um, I usually try to set timelines for what I do. So it was kind of annoying, but I got it finished. All right, so here they are kind of just chilling in the house, uh, finished. I ended up fixing my spray gun to get the last coat of polyurethane on there. There are some blemishes on there um, due to the chalk paint, but yeah, I'm happy with it. Happy to uh, get this project over with and move on to the next one.